It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we got a beer from Boulevard Brewing Company and it's a bottle of the Black Rye IPA in the Pale Ale. 7.7% ABV and it's part of the Smokestack series of beers. It's in a lovely 750 bottle. Nice caged, corked cap on it. Let's get it open into a glass and see what we get. There we go. I like to really grab hold of these. Not that I need to, it's quite... Here it goes. Wow, got hold of it. That was a banger of a beer. I, I, I really like these corks, um, but they do scare me, I've got to be honest. Um, I reviewed a beer in Cardiff in a bottle shop once, and it was literally just get it off the shelf and review it, and it was a warm day. <laughs> and this beer was from uh, Belgium. It, it was an American beer, but um, on, the, on the shelf of... Uh, uh, the beer store in Cardiff, but it was an American style. It was an American beer, but Belgium style. And the beer, the moment I took the cage off, this beer went bang and it blew everywhere, all over this gentleman's shop. It knocked the ceiling tile out in the in the shop, and it was just absolutely. It scared me to death. So I've always been a bit careful ever since. Anyway, we've got to be talking about this beer. It's jet black in the glass. Nice carbonation up the sides. It's a three finger. Slightly off white head. Nice roaring carbonation. Look at that up the side. Can you see that? There you go. Right. Aroma on this jet black beer, on this black IPA. Oh yeah, and that is absolutely punching with hops. Not just hops though, you pick up a lot of the dark malt. A little bit of coffee in there, a little bit of caramel. But yeah, it's, 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 it's so piney, it's so pungent with the hops, it's actually and I'm tickling the inside of my eyes. Got to dive into this one. Cheers, everyone. Oh, oh yes. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. That is at the absolute limit of bitterness for me. For me. If that, they, they've obviously worked on this beer over time. If this beer, if the IBUs in this beer were up by another 5, 10%, if it was, if it was say, yeah, 5%. 10% more with the IBUs, I think this beer would be too bitter. Run about now, the taste of this beer is absolutely perfect. You've got a big multi breadiness at the beginning of this beer, and then it quickly switches over to the hops. It's quite balanced, but in an extreme way, in a 7.7% ABV way. You know when it's a really hoppy beer because as soon as the beer lands on the tongue, your tongue almost starts to tingle. You can really, you can, you get the sensation before you get the taste. It's only a split second, but then once that kind of, once you know, once you've got that sensation on the tongue, you know it's going to be a belter of a beer. Um, loads of flavour. A, a lovely, lovely finish to the beer. The bitterness is absolutely fantastic. 
but in between that you've got a lot of the, the obvious mangoes the, the tropical fruit the, the the pineapple the grapefruit it's piney in a in a, an American style IPA piney way yes yeah, great stuff the beer is incredibly drinkable the carbonation kind of tickles on the tongue again it's an uplifting kind of funky what I mean funky I don't mean Belgium yeast funky I just mean exciting funky it's just I think what they've done as I mentioned earlier they've worked on this beer they've they've probably small batched it for a long time until they got it absolutely perfect because you don't want to go put in a beer this plain old average um, in a 750 bottle with a with a cork and a cage because well why would you do it so I think what they've done as I said they've small batch that they've actually perfected this beer before they've let it out for general release and it's a great way it's a great way to get the 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 because what you want you want people to talk about the beer you want people to spread it around on social media and take pictures of it and 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 then people want it and then people order it and then when they get it they see it with the cork and the cage and they're like oh this is absolutely fantastic um i'm gonna i'm gonna keep this forever um which i will do that bottle will stay in my possession forever um, I bought. I picked it up at the Great British Beer Festival in London two weeks ago, and yeah, it's lived up to all of the expectations and the price. I paid ten pounds for this bottle, and it's been very much worth it. Very happy to have paid that um, because it's been such a fantastic beer. So just to wrap it up, it's an incredibly drinkable beer, 7.7% ABV, it's touching double IPA. The black roasted malt in the beer, yes you're going to taste it. The reason you're going to taste it is because they would have had to put so much of it in to kind of counterbalance that IPA, that hoppy, 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 hoppy finish. And I like it. There's a lot of brewers out there that um, a black IPA or a Cascadian dark ale, whatever you want to call it. Um, some of the brewers out there just, just, just use the malt for colour. But I actually like the fact that you can taste the roasted malt in this, in this beer. I like the, 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 the taste of it. So for me, rating. Boulevard. Smokestack Series Grainstorm Black Rye IPA India Pale Ale at 7.7% ABV. Yeah, I don't care. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 beer from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please check it out. It's absolutely fantastic. Do not be scared off by the price. It's well worth it. You'll enjoy it. And cheers.